I'm going to be showing you all of Bee Bear's quests and what stickers you do need for all of them and how to get them as well. Let's actually start out with the sixth quest as that's where stickers start being a requirement. And an easy way to get rubber duckies for this is buying it from the catalog right over here or macroing or manually playing with the sticker seeker for a bit. And also all of these stickers over here had their chances increased in the newest update so it's going to be probably a lot easier to even get them. Then for the seventh quest it's kind of like the exact same way to get it and the eighth quest it's either green check mark green plus sign standing caterpillar and colorful buttons since yes a lot of people will have different stickers who may be what i'm showing right now and the green check mark and plus sign sticker is literally just sticker seeker once again but can also get it from seeker quests and sticker printer the easiest way i did get the caterpillar was using super scooper in pineapple patch or just finding it around the map as it can be a hidden sticker the colorful buttons is from sticker or tacky plant and can as well be found on walls as a hidden sticker or the sticker printer as well. Then quest 9 is either Pop and Rubber, Red Eggs, Intero Bang Block, Evil Pig, Tough Potato, Doodle S and the Intruder Sticker. So for the Cop and Rubber, it's literally just using the Sticker Seeker in any field for a bit. In with the Intruder one over here really, the Tough Block, the Intero Bang as well, and Tough Potato and the Doodle S Sticker is literally just a Seeker Quest reward or a hidden sticker. And then for quest 10 which does actually reward you with a festive hive we do have either a desperate booth pizza delivery man a built ship a gray shape companion baseball swing launching rocket giraffe and all the creator stickers and they are all basically from literally just using the sticker seeker like i'm not even trolling just look at all of them sticker seeker any field and sticker sprout and stuff not much else to say for that one but it does take quite a while macroing though if you are doing it which is why trading is so good for all of these and then for all the critter stickers, it's literally just using sprouts in, for example, clover for this one, dandelion, blue flower, cactus field, and pumpkin patch. And you may use around like 100 or more sprouts if you are lucky enough. And quest 11 is literally any of these flowers right here. This one too, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And they aren't even that hard to get. Like, it's literally just macroing with bucko bees, for example, or whatever needed, and using the clippers or scissors tool from the starter shop in whatever field it does say for one of these quest 12 is literally any of these leaves so it's quite a crazy one not gonna lie and i think it's like four or five of it as well but that's literally just macroing that or manually playing for a bit and it does say which field is needed for it to give a higher chance like for example this one does say strawberry or pumpkin patch so if you do that you will literally just be good then we have quest 13 and for this one you even need a pyramid sticker a tiny house sticker or a simple mountain sticker and the simple mountain sticker is really really easy because I got it from just using the sticker seeker in the mountaintop field after like a day and I think I had like 20 or 30 in my inventory so it should be easier since the chance of that got buffed. Tiny house is just using the sticker seeker in the starter zone and pyramid is just having a couple lion bees in cactus field. Then we have yellow umbrellas for quest 14 grey raining cloud sticker and this one is not fun because it's a seeker quest reward all from the sticker sprout which I think I literally just got one a couple seconds seconds ago and then grey raining cloud wherever it is it's literally just killing windy bee a couple times yeah it's not even that bad but then for quest 15 over here we do actually have the one before the five doodle cub creations because this actually is an interesting one as you do need the green shirt there a thumbs up hand orange swelled marble or all the other marbles and the diamond cluster sticker as well and the green shirt bet over here is from bubble bees in cloverfield so you just gotta add the couple bubble bees and macroing in that field or manually playing once again. The thumbs up sticker is a seeker quest reward or cool bee and stump and for all the marbles right over here once again they are seeker quest rewards and the diamond cluster is found by diamond bee in mountaintop field so you can kind of get it at the same time while you are going for the other thing. Now for the first doodle cub creation so quest 16 we have yellow highs, bomber bee bear, panicked science bear, drooping stubborn bee, wobbly looker bee, blob bumblebee and round rascal bee so for the yellow highs it's literally just using the sticker seeker in any field the bomber bee needs you to have a couple bomber bees and macroing in mountaintop then the science bear is literally just having radioactive bees and walking around for a bit in the pineapple patch and the stubborn bee the looker bee and the rascal bee and whatever other bee that was so i think this one as well is literally just feeding a neon berry to a bumblebee or whatever bee it is that you have and there's like a 1000 chance for it which means that you do 
have to donate up to 1,000 neon berries. And then quest 17, Cub Buddy 2, you do actually need any of the four tall stickers over here. So yeah, quite a tough one, not gonna lie. I gotta pray it's one of these, bro, because I literally have like 20 honey dippers. And if you do click on it, each does show which field has a higher chance for it. Then the up looking bears that you do need for it as well is just sticker seeker reward in any field. And then just all the critters that I have mentioned already. And quest 18, Cub Buddy 3, we do actually have the red palm, which I think everyone knows already. Rage beat inside a stump field. Then the baseball swing, rebarbs, yellow right arrow and left one, eighth notes and diamond cluster. For the baseball swing, it is literally just the Kaseka in starter zone, but I did get it from the sticker printer. And the rebarbs is using petal wand in pineapple patch. And you'll have like infinite of them. You do got a macro that of course though. The yellow and right arrow is a sticker seeker quest and using sticker seeker in any field. The eighth notes is literally when music B is really, really happy. So you gotta get a couple more music bees. And diamond cluster over here is just found by diamond bees in mountaintop field. And quest 19 now is having a couple doodle S's, which I did say before. Same with the swelled marbles, then all nectar icons over here, which is just donating to the nectar part a couple times. Oh well, more than a couple times because it's literally one in 25 chance and I've only got two of them my entire life. And the hourglass is just using the wealth clock. Yeah, this one over here. One in 250 chance though. But then for the ultimate quest 20, doodle cup creation, five out of five. Looks amazing, but is it amazing to complete though? Let's see. Five trillion with your collector, bruh. 250 billion goo from red and blue flowers. Collect 25 gingerbread bears. Collect five star jellies. Use 10 blue extracts. Use nectar condenser two times. 50 ingredients with blender 50 stickers without trading like bro what donate 25 stickers to the public sticker board bruh the 50 party mosquitoes i've been having issues with these and i have to do 50 more 1k snowflakes 2.5k brick bloom tokens like bro i thought this was gonna be easy bro what and now the stickers and yeah bro what is this colorful buttons which i already said how yellow sticky hand diamond trim the cyan border black star it can be any star sign and that's one x and to be honest stickers aren't so horrible for this one but yeah though let me know if you guys think you'll be able to complete it because I definitely think I am but the b bear ones may take way more time than all the NPC ones over here because I'm basically done with most of these if you do have robo party enabled by the way please let me know in discord and in DMs like actually please let me know but yeah let me know how much b bear quest you guys have completed now and yeah thank you so much for watching and bye